everybody welcome welcome back to one honey bell kitchen yes well today we're gonna do some chicken ties some brown stew chicken chicken ties on the stove top it's a quick meal like a 30 minutes when you're coming from work you can whip that up for your family or you know on weekend you're busy cleaning and doing other stuff for the family so you just want to get something fast out there for them to eat this is a video this is a meal this is a recipe that will help you whoop up something fast please if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we'll highly appreciate it so I'll show you as I go along what's going on in one honey bell kitchen. Yes. So today I as I told you that I'm gonna cook some chicken breasts. And I use lime and vinegar as lemon. I I squeeze my lemon already. And I'm using vinegar and lemon to wash these are some nice chicken ties I'm gonna clean off all these fat like use a knife and clean off all these fat because you don't want the fatty too much fat on your on your chicken ties so I wash and then I'm gonna wash it once again and clean up my chicken as we go on, I'll show you how I clean it up and what I'm doing. So you make sure you need always like when you use the lemon and the vinegar, you know, you make sure rinse again. And then you can clean up after you clean up. If you feel like you want to rinse again, you rinse again. But I show you. As I go on what's going on in my kitchen yes one honey bell kitchen yeah so I'm cleaning up my chicken ties you know you can you have a sharp knife you cut off all these fats <clears throat> You know, cut off all these fats. Um, the extra skins, you can cut it off. You know, remember I wash with the lemon and vinegar. You cut off all the extra skin that you're not, you, you know, not necessary. So this is one honey bell kitchen. We are cooking away. We are cooking some chicken thighs today. Yes. And we're making this like for, I told you, in half an hour or less. But I'm just cleaning up the fat. So as I go on, I show you what's going on in one honey bell kitchen. So I'm just showing you all my seasoning that I'm using. And I have some onion, which I'm cutting like small, small, you know, as small as you can. And I have my garlic. I use this for my garlic with the shell. I use this to take off the shell and when I'm, I use this to crush it. Or I can use a garlic crusher. I have a garlic crusher, but right now, I'm, as I told you, I'm doing a fast thing, and I have hot pepper. Thyme, a little piece of celery is optional, because you know I want it to be also healthy. I have bell pepper, onion, soy sauce, a little tip of brown in like a half teaspoon, and maybe two teaspoon of the soy sauce, a little maybe a teaspoon of salt or less because I don't want much salt if you have good season you don't even have to use salt especially if you have high blood pressure 
then I have garlic powder and onion powder and I have some scallion here so as I go on I show you what I'm doing what I'm making in one honey bell kitchen yeah 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 it was a quick meal a quick meal for my family yes and then I grab the pepper you know you can slice your pepper like this you have a sharp knife you can because you know you're not like cooking for gas or anything you just slice up your thing you can you don't cut it in your hand like me I'm pro <laughs> I'm kind of professional you put it on on your cutting board you know this is my cutting board for today I have different kinds of cutting board I chose this one today to cut up my vegetable my seasoning so as we go on, we show you what's going on in one honey bell kitchen and how we seasoning up our meat. Thanks for watching. Yes, yeah, so I put all the seasoning in and um, I'm going to put some. But what I do, I do this with my pimento green. You can put it in a piece of napkin and you can crush with this or you can you don't have to crush it and then I put it in my meat this is optional but it's pimento grain and then you season and season you know season up your meat and you can soak this for like half an hour let it stay a while cover it if you you want cover it and let it stay a while you can put like a piece of foil paper over it for about 30 minutes or less depending uh, not, so you could do this overnight if you know you're gonna cook right you do this overnight you season up your meat overnight you don't have to you can make you can season let it stay for two minutes five minutes but you know if you wanted to So my oil is hot and I'm going to put in my chicken, this is my chicken that is seasoned. I'm going to take off the seasoning, you take off like the onion and stuff, you clean off your, your chicken thighs and you put it in. If you put on your chicken, if you put your chicken to fry with the seasoning, then it will burn. You have to make sure you take off the seasoning. And then you're going to cook it down in some hot water, not cold water, with your seasoning when it's brown. So, I'll show you what's going on in one honey bell kitchen as we cook and you see what we cook so you can cook for your family as well so my chicken is fried as you can see so pretty and I'm taking them out I'm putting them in a container where I'm going to take out some of the oil and I'm gonna put in some seasoning and put in back, put back my chicken in my pot so that I can brown stew my chicken times. You know, you have seen me do brown stew, but I've never done chicken times in like this on the stove top. So this is it. We take out, we took out everything. 
and I'm gonna take out some of that oil. So after you take out your your chicken, you can take out some of the oil. Take some of the oil out and you put it in a container. You don't want it to get burned, so you put it as far as possible because this oil is a little bit too much for me to put the chicken, the seasoning in. So, you know, I'm taking some of the oil out. I could do it another way, but I might get burned. So the safest way for you to do it is put a container close by and take out your oil. The excess oil so that's what we are doing now and then you turn your stove down because you're gonna need all these little crummy crummy to cook your brown stew ties so you can have your gravy and everything so now I'm gonna put in my seasoning just like so and you stir stir so that these can be brown and then you're gonna add your chicken and add some water you can add ketchup you don't have to um, you can also put some tomato in this or some tomato sauce you know whatever you prefer you prefer like a tomato tomato sauce thing or you just want some brown just brown chicken like this you can add some more soya sauce if you need more so my I'm gonna add my chicken to this seasoning how pretty this is yeah one honey bell kitchen subscribe and like yes so you can see more videos and give us a thumbs up if you like this video you can see more videos of how we cook if you subscribe we need subscribers yes you know we need a lot more people to see this food so you can add a little water like in your bowl that we're like seasoning and put it in and then I have my hot water over here. I'm gonna put some hot water because I don't like to put cold water in my meat as you know that from previous videos. You can add a little ketchup, a little, or you can put, um, just like so it's fine. If you look, you see how pretty. Yes. So I'm gonna cover this and let it cook down so show you later what's going on in 100 bell kitchen yes so um so my meat is almost finished my chicken thigh it's almost finished it's pretty you look you see what's going on in one honey bell kitchen i'm cooking and it looks so good mm, i can't wait to eat this i know my family's gonna enjoy this so this is a 30 minutes dinner or 20 to 30 minutes you know you cook some rice on the side you cook some banana something and then you have your nice chicken ties so i'm gonna show you later it's already cooked I'm gonna eat later and then I'll taste it and let you see and tell you how it tastes so I told you my chicken is ready my chicken ties and I'm gonna cut a little piece and taste it and tell you what's going on how it tastes So good. Mm. So I hope that you do want it like this for your family too. You make 
a meal like this for your family subscribe and like and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of these nice videos you know a quick thing so until then take care of yourself and your family bye